All right, so that tape line is pretty much where the bow side is gonna go. So to prep for that, we're gonna get the seat out real quick, pull the plastics and the trim off and the trim here, and make sure there's nothing in the way before we start cutting. All right, we got everything stripped down. Um, there's nothing in this corner. The fuse box is up pretty high. Um, some of this sound deadening might have to come off, but we'll see how far in we end up going. Um, we're gonna leave a little bit of a lip on the outside here just to give the door a good spot to sit. Um, but yeah, so pretty much time to start cutting. We did remove this harness bar. I will also be removing that one. Um, I'm going to make a new setup that ties into the roll cage. Uh, not a huge fan of the sheet metal style setup. So let's get, a, get to work. So for the both sides, you're gonna be using this two by six. And that will be the base of it. And then we'll do some supporting legs a little bit smaller, um, but this will be the base of it. That'll go into the cap. So I have this marked out. Normally I have a smaller piece laying around to kind of show you for mock-up, but essentially it's gonna go in like that and span the whole length. Um, and that will raise the whole side of it up. So that's pretty much where it's gonna get cut. And then I'll cut the front side as well. And I'll get this inside in here. I'll leave everything else until I get this exactly where I want. And once this is where I want, then I will cut everything below it and do some uh, legs to the frame. All right, so for the front, I put the fender back on and that gave me the ability to measure how far in I need to cut to fit here on the front side because there's just, I mean, you can eyeball it, but if you can get something to measure off of, it just makes it a little bit easier. So I do have it sticking out a little bit right now, about three quarters of an inch. I can still go in if I need to, but you cannot, it's harder to add metal. Um, so we're gonna leave it like this and see what it looks like and make it match in the front get this all set in there and then if we want to adjust we can All right, so we're a little bit past back here and a little bit past in the front. The width is pretty close to the same. I'll do a few measurements to make it perfect. Um, this corner will stay flush and then we'll leave this nice spot here to mount the roll cage to and then we'll round that corner off. So best thing about boat size is real easy to mount roll cages to. 
And here, we also mount a roll cage too. We're just gonna put a tube in that ties in. And uh, yeah, and mount it to that. And we got a nice and tight fit inside and out, all the way around. Lots of cleanup and welding, but having that nice tight fit makes it so much easier because sheet metal is always fun. Um, and then the bottom side, so right now, we have all this sheet metal just to literally hold this in. So we'll get this all leveled out and then all of this will disappear. Um, we'll cut it off and we'll have legs that come down to the frame. So a lot more clearance will begin. So since we measured the slider height before, was that 28 inches? We can see how much clearance is gained. 36 inches, so about eight inches of clearance. And this is as high as you can go with keeping the stock door hinge. So eight inches should be quite a bit, especially at the widest point of the rig. So for the leg supports, I'll be using um, two by three, three sixteenths. That's just what I like to use. And it will go essentially something like that. So I gotta get some more of it real quick, but I'll make probably about three to four legs on each side and it'll be nice and strong. So the boat side is obviously set in here and held up with the body, but what I did is I tacked up two legs and that will allow me to chop the rest of the body out and the cab won't move. So that's what's next, chop the rest of the body out and then we can finish the back leg, the front leg, get it fully mocked up and start working on paneling in the inside. Just gotta do two more legs on it and then start working on the capping and it'll be ready to start building some tube work. Body mounts chopped off. Now we can grind them down clean and make the final legs.
All right, so we got all four legs in and I'm gonna pull off one leg at a time so I can weld the top of the plate to the frame. Uh, that it's just hard to get to right here. So I'm gonna do that real quick and then while I'm in there, I'm gonna cut or clean this up. Um, there's a bunch of undercoating and that, that, that stuff doesn't weld. So use a wire weld, clean all that stuff up, get it all nice and clean and ready to weld. And then um, after I'm done with all that, then I'll put it all back in and we'll start making these plates. We got the boat side all finished up on this side, welded to the cab as well as everything welded up on the legs. So next up, uh, we're gonna be working on plating these guys in and getting the doors built so that, and then uh, capping the ends. So stay tuned, thanks for watching.